Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week's tutorial is about integrating Fluent CRM into the Divi email opt-in module. So it can be pretty confusing and unfortunately the Elegant Themes documentation doesn't cover this. They just kind of have like some generic documentation about email providers, but for Fluent CRM, it's, it's something very specific that you have to do that really confused me until I figured it out. So I decided I wanna show you so you don't have to go through the same confusion. So let me show you. So for this tutorial, I'm not showing you how to use Fluent CRM or how to install it or you know that kind of thing, how to, but you gotta have it installed already or just go install it, right? So Fluent CRM is an email marketing tool and automation system for WordPress. And so it's different than like MailChimp or these other ones because it's actually hosted on your website, which is really cool. Um, and it's also very affordable. I, I spend like $2 a month using it um, through Amazon's uh, um, email, whatever it's called. But it, I'm saying all this to say like, I've saved hundreds of dollars with Fluent CRM and it's very popular. And so more than likely you're going to face this at some point, a customer or either for yourself, trying to get Fluent CRM and Divi to, to integrate. It's very easy, but it's very confusing. So let's, let's, go, let's go ahead and look at this. Now I do have a couple of links here that are helpful. Here's the Fluent CRM link. Um, uh, here I have a tutorial about styling the, the email opt-in module with one, two, or three fields, right? But then I kind of get into it here, and you can follow along. I have this linked in the YouTube description, but follow along here, and there's like five steps or so, and this applies when you first set it up, um, and I'll, I'll talk about that. For the very first time when you add Fluent CRM, and then you go into the Divi email opt-in module, okay? For my demo, I am going to go install it because I didn't have it installed uh, for this demo. I, I have it installed on other sites, but after it's installed once and integrated once, you don't have to do this, so I can't like undo it. So I'm setting up a new site here. All right, so I have Fluent CRM installed here. I would go over here to like the list, do something over here. Ah, I don't really want to do that right now. Again, this is not about setting up um, Fluent CRM, but you can do that on your own. But I'm going to create a list and I'm just gonna call it something, you know, for a tutorial, right? I need something simple. Okay, now back to here. Uh, the first step is to open the module and go to the email account toggle. All right, so I'm just going to uh, find a spot here and uh, add the module because I don't have that here. So email opt-in. And then when that opens up, there's, you know, obviously all the design options, but the thing that we want right here, email account, right there. Now, it's on MailChimp. So first of all, under service provider, select Fluent CRM, right here, Fluent CRM. Now, you may be looking at this and be like, oh, Fluent CRM list. Well, I just made a list. Remember, I made a list for tutorial. Oh, select list, so right? So this is what I went through. I was so confused by this. I was like, wait a minute. So I added the list and what? Okay. <laughs> this won't appear here yet because this is my first time integrating this. So the, the next step after selecting Fluent CRM is to click this gray add button. Okay. When you click that button, now you get this new field that says account name. And I have all these steps very clearly documented here, right? So we click that and now we're adding the account name. You can add anything you want here. I have no idea what an account name is. <laughs> like it doesn't make any sense in regards to Divi or Fluent CRM. So just make something up, literally make something up. It doesn't matter. Um, how about make it the, the name of your website? All right, once you type something in, just click submit, okay? The gray submit button. That actually is going to do that connection. So now, when you saw it spinning, that was actually communicating, Divi was communicating with Fluent CRM, okay? Now watch, under this list, there it is. Now I have this list for tutorial, right? So we had to like add the account to 
make it talk with each other like yeah anyway <laughs> so now I can select that and that's great now I'm done right now any you know anyone who you know fills in their name and email here will be subscribed to that list in my fluent CRM um, plugin in this website and so after I do this like like let's say I don't know if this will work or not but like if I was going to add another email opt-in on another spot, maybe in my footer, my blog post or somewhere, let's let's see if it does what I think it will. After I've already like made it communicate, if I select Fluent CRM, yes, now the list is already here, okay? So you can just click the list. Um, you don't need to do any of these other things. See, add brings you back to account name. I, I don't know. And then fetch list. I guess fetch list is like, like a refresh. I don't know. So now I have now I have to do it again. I'm confused. I confirm that. See, that's that's denied. That was confused. It's so confused right now. So let's add again. Submit. And then it does the reconnect. And now we're back to this. Oh, now I added the second one. So you saw me live confused and playing around and it's I don't know why it's this way but the steps are very simple you know they're very clearly explained here um, select your service provider click the gray add button now write a name now click submit and then click the list it's that simple so you can see like I literally went through that and I was like so confused so I was like I've got to write this down and share it with you um, so this is what I do every single week. I have a tutorial that publishes here on YouTube and over on the blog every week. Um, so all of my subscribers, you know, enjoy this every week. They get something new related to Divi and it's really cool. Um, a lot of you are watching this that are not subscribed. So um, check out my videos and see, see if you like this stuff every week. So, all right, we'll see you all in the next video.